guys, it's me, Jody from O'Neill's Deals, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today is going to be a thrift haul from the bins. I went and spent $41 there. I got 30 items. Um, that makes my average price around $1.36, which is great. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller. I buy things at thrift stores and resell them on the internet. Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, anywhere I can sell stuff. And I went to the bins. So the Goodwill Outlet is also known as the bins. Um, if you have never heard of that before, you can Google Goodwill Outlet near me and that will show you your closest one. Um, if you have never been, it's a place where they roll out a bunch of stuff in these big blue bins and you dig through it uh, and you can pick out whatever you want. And then usually it's pay by the pound. So they will weigh everything that you pick out and you, you it's a, a per pound rate that you pay. I got mostly clothing, uh, one pair of shoes. So <laughs> the shoes are at the bottom of the bag. So you guys will see that last. Um, I do have everything in a big blue Ikea bag. It's like to the top. So hang out with me, see what I found. All right, so like I said, a buck 36 per piece. So keep that in mind kind of as I'm going through these. First thing is actually this really cute blanket. I have a story behind this. Um, it's new with tags. It's got a cute little koala bear on it from Carter's. Um, the MSRP on this is $34, so I spent $41 on everything. Definitely got my money's worth out of this haul. <laughs> this is actually, hopefully, going to be for one of my friends. I don't know yet, basically, is the whole thing. I have a group of four friends. We all worked at the same company. Two of us work there still. Two of us don't. But my first friend just had her baby in February. Is a month old. It's a girl. Second friend is having a baby in June. It's a girl. So my third friend, not me, <laughs> is trying to get pregnant right now. Maybe she will have a boy. <laughs> I have a ton of boy clothes stacked away. I have this. I have all kinds of stuff that's for boys. For the girls, I had to just split what I had. Of course, I got pregnant right around the same time. So fingers crossed for a boy. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my stash. So it may or may not be for my friend if she has a boy. Speaking of which, little stash, another new with tags. These are a pair of swim trunks. So they're the flap happy, whatever that means. Um, price on these is $28 for a pair of swim trunks. Are you kidding me? They're very cute. Uh, like a little nautical print, but $28. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's going in my little stash though. Next is this American Eagle, soft and sexy. I only buy these from the bins. This is a size large. It's cute. Little tie dye. It's got a keyhole in the front. Kind of like a peasant style with these wide sleeves that I liked. So pick that up. This is a men's Banana Republic linen Camden fit shirt. I love Banana Republic because I always have like the name of whatever it is there. Uh, size large. It's like a pinky salmon color. Be good for Easter, so I should probably get it listed. It didn't have any like flaws other than the fact that like linen is textured. You guys know how that goes. This is a pair of LuLaRoe. What size are these? Tall and curvy. <laughs> um, but the reason I got them is actually because it's an Alice in Wonderland print. I normally, I don't pick up LuLaRoe leggings really at all anymore, but I did love this print and someone out there is looking for Alice in Wonderland stuff. Probably go on auction on eBay, quite frankly, but it's okay. This I grabbed because it's plus size. It's a Lila Ryan 3X denim jacket. I do have a pair of pants from them. Did I sell those? I don't know. I don't know where this brand is sold, but it's a really cute black denim jacket. Should try it on. It's really quite cute. Um, but it's just like a it's not a denim material, but it is a woven for sure. Like denim-esque in the realm of denim over here, <laughs> but not actually denim. This is a page top, size large. 
I did check there aren't any holes, which is nice. It's kind of like a thinner, you can actually see my arm kind of through that little knit top and pocket. I found two page tops. I picked up them both. I might want them together if they're the same size. I'll have to find where the other one went, but this, gosh, 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 size 2T, um, little knit, can I say knit more in this video? Cardigan with a little fringe. I thought it was cute. I don't know. I'll list it for 10 bucks on Kittison or whatever. This is, yeah, lacy. And also very small. Um, it's like a sexy little things from Victoria's Secret size, oh, 34B. So I guess that's not as small as I was thinking, but it's very little in my opinion. Um, in my frame of reference, not necessarily like, yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, it's like a little maid outfit. Why you need pockets? I don't know. <laughs> but it ties in the back. I, I picked it up. It weighed nothing, basically. So here's another soft and sexy t-shirt from American Eagle. It is a rib style, size medium. Again, kind of that tie-dye. These are so comfortable. I feel like people are looking for these, so grab this little Kendra Scott bag. I love these for travel. I have a couple of them because I'm oh, actually wearing my Kendra Scott today. I have a rain necklaces that my husband has bought me in the past for Christmas because they go with everything. If you guys don't have one, you need one if you like long necklaces because that's what I like. Anyway, um, I will use this bag for travel. They're nice and cinchable and then you just tie it and it helps keep like your jewelry separate and your <laughs> everything separate. So they're handy and it weighed nothing, like I said. Uh, Lane Bryant 2224. This I'm going to try on probably. It's a cute little tie dye shirt. A little bit shorter in the front. I didn't see any stains. It's hard to tell. Well, I'll find out though here soon enough. This is a gap dress, size large. I sold this when I worked there. Um, I definitely have that kind of sentiment, as you guys have learned. It's a thick, it's like a double line. So it's actually, um, I think this came out for fall winter season. Long sleeved, and then it actually has like kind of a, a thick skirt on it. Pockets, which are obviously <laughs> attacking the camera right now. Oh, that pocket has a hole in it. <laughs> I just shoved my fingers into that. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I will now know to note that in the listing. I wasn't planning on shoving my hand in there, but no, that po other pocket's fine. <laughs> Okay, well, good to know. It's not missing any buttons, though, so at least there's that. I did check that, but apparently now I need to talk about the pockets. This pair of Hudson jeans. These are kids. Um, size 14. How cute are these? They have, like, this die down the side, and then also a release hem with draw. They're just really cute. I want these in my size, please. Thank you. I wondering if there was a style, but I may not see one. And then they're just like the normal <laughs> in the back. This is a Madewell sweater. I did check this for holes, but I'm probably still gonna find one. Uh, size small. There was quite a few Madewell things that were like right together in the bin, but the other ones were damaged, so this one might be too. Um, it does have like the little tie in the front. Not tie, but like security thing. Because <laughs> it's like a wrap front little sweater in the camel color. And then this is a Riva top. This is not like a particularly good brand in, by any means, but I liked it. <laughs> Size medium. I might give this to my friend. I don't know. She She's kind of this style and the back is cute too. So we'll see if she wants it. <laughs> first before I list it. Uh, this is a cloth and stone dress. I have a feeling this was an anthropology piece. Um, probably should look at the RN number, but I just think it's cute. And I did look at this. There's like a pole there, but I don't think it's like an actual pole. Yeah. It's just lint. <laughs> it reminds me of those sweaters. You guys know what I'm talking about. You see them all the time at thrift stores. Um, that are like this material with the like woven stripes. Let's see. 
Um, no. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't have the anthropology RN, which is seven, no, six, six, one, seven, zero. But I will still look it up. <laughs> I'm sure there's a really cute model photo for it. So someone's going to want that. This is a little baby girl top. This is going to go to my friend who's having her baby in June. Um, I realized <laughs> now that I'm like in the world of people who have babies that when you buy things for people for baby showers and stuff, you have to think about how old the kid's going to be. Like it seems really simple, but like I was out here as like even a couple years ago buying things for people that are like 2T, 3T, like that's years away. <laughs> Those people now have to store that stuff for years and they might not even be the right age. So like this is a, a three month little cutie top. So precious. Um, I can't give it to my friend who just had her baby in February because in three months when she's wearing this size, well, she might already be in this size. I have no idea. I haven't talked to her in a little bit. Um, it will be summertime. And this is like a long sleeve top. So if I gave it to my friend who has a baby in June, June, July, August, September, this is more appropriate. So you can't just go buying things willy nilly. <laughs> like an Easter dress that's like the wrong size because your kid is too old or not old enough or whatever. So I didn't, I didn't think about that until just like this last round of two, two baby showers. Speaking of Easter, I guess, this is like a vintage little girl's dress. Um, how precious, size 24 months. Honestly, I kept the hanger because it's a kid's size hanger and I'm always running out of those. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. I saw it, I figured someone would want it. There's like an actual tag in it. I don't know what the brand was or anything, but it's cotton. That's as much information as, yep, that's as much information as I have. <laughs> this is a pair of something navy. Don't know what size. Um, it's a mystery. I'm just going to be staring at this tag forever. Spring 19. Okay. Is there a size? Looks like no. Oh. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a size six um, or 28. Does have some spots here on the front. Um, I'm gonna try and get them out. If I can't get them out, I will distress the heck out of these because they're very cute. They're like a straight leg, tapered leg with raw hem. So definitely appropriate for distressing. Imagine some distressing on here. Be really nice, but the back is clean. So I just about need to like soak and stain treat the front and hope for the best. This I'm always excited to find at the bins. Who doesn't love that? This is a men's t-shirt, uh, just like a simple little v-neck, but it does have a hole in the front. I still bought it. It has a couple spots too, like, I don't know if they painted in this right there. There's a little hole in these little spots. Um, it will still sell on Poshmark, probably for 15, 10 to 15, if I had to guess. And there's no size. So I'll have to figure that out. I've sold enough blue Lululemon's men's shirts. I'm guessing it's probably a small or a medium. That I will have, uh, I've sold enough of them that I will have measurements of other ones that have the size dots to like cross reference the measurements on. Words are hard. Okay, <laughs> this is a tiny, which is sometimes sold in anthropology, sometimes it's not, uh, don't know where else it's sold, but a uh, cutie little button up, and I'm wishing it was buttoned so you guys could see. The front is kind of sheer, and it's embroidered, and the collar area is like raw, so like here's the collar, you can kind of see it's like coming apart, but in a way I believe is intentional. And then, yeah, buttons in the front. Look at all that beautiful embroidery. I bought it. Here we are. It's kind of my whole philosophy. Same thing with this. Oh, this has a big hole in the front. <laughs> How did I not see that? 
Make it 29 items instead of 30. <laughs> That's okay. I did pick up this Andrew Mark. Where's the tag? Jeez. Size small. Kind of like scuba-y jacket. It was just a nice jacket. Um, I think Andrew Mark isn't anything special. I feel like I see it all the time. But you know what? It's in good condition. It feels nice. Um, and I bought it. And someone's gonna buy it for me. <laughs> That's the hope anyway. Oh, this is the other page top. So this is a, oh, it's a size large. So I will lot them together. Little striped tank top. So hopefully I can sell both of those for like 25. It's the dream. Oh gosh, my gosh. So cute. And it actually says that on here. I've heard that sometimes overalls from them can do really well, especially the older ones. These are definitely an older style. Um, look at the back. So cute. Vest back since 1895. Wow, that's an old company. Much older than I anticipated. You don't have any stains. I looked. But also I looked over that jacket and uh, still managed to miss the giant hole. So, does have a tag on it. it does not say when they were made so maybe it's not as old as I thought but there we go six months um it has really nice metal claspings and all that but I don't know I'll have to figure out maybe they're worth ten dollars instead of like twenty dollars I have no idea how much kid gloves go for honestly like I barely sell any of them this is a little Savage X Fenty um, pair of underwear, size medium. I knew it's a tag. I'm guessing it was part of the set and someone kept the top and didn't keep the bottoms. It's leopard print. You can't really see. I don't know. They're cute. Uh, Goodwill wanted $5 for them. That's probably about what I will charge. <laughs> Maybe like $7 since that's like the minimum on Poshmark, but... This is an Athleta shirt, top, sweater, size small. I thought this was the newer Athleta tag, but now I'm doubting myself. I've been out of the world of Athleta for a little bit too long. It's matted. It's very matted, but you know, I'm going to try and fix it because it's very cute and it's a nice color. And yeah, that's, that's the extent of it all. Of course, the day tag is missing. So... The inner tag, there is not one, but normally it says the year on there. And this tag has been removed. It's usually the white tag that has the date on it. And this one does not. Actually, it hasn't been removed. It's just so worn. <laughs> Maybe I won't be able to save this. I'm going to try. I'm going to try might be in like two years when I finally get around to doing my lint roll sweater shade fix pile but <laughs> I will try it eventually or it will be redonated and I will regret everything um <laughs> this is a smart wool top size extra small I bought it even though it has holes in it and I would suggest that for you as well so there's holes here. And I think there's also one on the arm. Like a pretty significant one somewhere. Yeah, right there. But a lot of people wear these as base layers. Don't care if there are holes in them. So someone will still buy this. Also, this is a very cute print. I'm into it. 10 bucks, 15 bucks, somewhere in there. I know you're like, guys are like screaming at me through the camera of like, what about your $20 thing? Yes, it still exists, but it's the bins. This is an Express. New with tags, little top, size small. I only got it because it's new and also because it's cute. Um, How precious. This little blue velvet. There's a little tie on the side. Strappy little tank. Summertime is coming, people. And my cat is burying his food on the jacket <laughs> okay pair of boots um the other one was in worse condition i realized after i bought them 
But this is just a pair of Franco Sardo little calf boots. They aren't like amazing, fantastical. Is there even a size? That's a good question. Um, it's not printed there and it's not on the bottom. Hmm. Well, well that's unfortunate. <laughs> it does say Franco Sardo down there. It's a mystery. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. This one, though, has that watermark or oil mark or something on the toe. But like I said, there's no size, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these. <sighs> they look like a nine. That's a guess. I don't know. <laughs> yikes. So much yikes. I... I should have paid more attention. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up before you go and subscribe if you haven't quite yet. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing that I found. It's very fun to kind of see people's opinions on that. You guys can probably tell what some of my favorite things were because I get all excited. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.